Alright, what's up YouTube? My name is Cool Story Broback, and this is Let's Play Brave Fence with Musashi, episode number 7. Let's do it! In the last episode, we, um, oh gosh, we did so much. We fixed Steamwood. Okay, we fixed Steamwood, restored order back to it. We, um, and we managed to go up Twin Peak Mountain. We ran in a root trick, and we made him suffer the same fate that his precious Steam Knight suffered. He ended up getting crushed with a huge rock. Though, unfortunately, he's not actually dead. After that, we managed to obtain the Earth Scroll, and then Lumina started talking to us. And he told us that we have to defeat the Crest Guardian. After you liberate the Crest, you also have to defeat the Crest Guardian, which is pretty much the boss of that chapter in the story. So, since we just got the- holy crap, this is kinda loud. Uh, wait. So since we just got the Earth Crest, we have to fight the Earth Crest Guardian. But in order to do that, we have to get permission to go into Hell's Valley, which is where the Crest Guardian lays. So before we do, I'm gonna stock up on some junk, cause I don't even. Oh, I have junk. I don't need to stock up. Sweet. Let me let me hit the toy shop though. It's not open. Usually, if the sign just says closed and there's like no time or anything, they're just hey, not open. Hey, I'm so early. I'm gonna go exploring in the forest with Mint. Mom told me that I have to be careful when I go exploring. She said that I have to come home before it gets too dark or I'll get locked out of the house. Well, dang. He's like 10 years old, man. Holy crap. You gonna lock him out the house? Sheesh. Sorry, but I'm busy now. Aren't we blessed for having that well so close to us? And they meet up for their local gossip. Good morning! Yeah, it's like everybody's just going about their morning routine. You know, just a peaceful day. Did you hear that the little boy was the one who saved Steamwood from exploding? My goodness, that's impressive for someone with such strange taste in clothes. Do you think that he came from another world? Oh, how silly I am for thinking such a thing. So I guess the palace doesn't really inform the locals in the village below about what's going on. <clears throat> oh well, they'll figure it out sooner or later. This is more than just a costume. This is my life right here. You know, in the last episode, I realized I could go to my room if I wanted to save. I don't know why I didn't do that. But, um, <clears throat> let's visit real quick. Hit up the folks, hit up the peoples. Hey, geezer! How do I get into Hell's Valley? What? Wait, what? Did thou say Hell's Valley? I understand it. I'll prepare everything. However, there is a problem. What kind of problem? We don't have it enough people. I don't need help. I can do it myself. You need four people to open the gate to Hell's Valley because four switches must be pressed simultaneously to do it. Thus, I need thou to find the, the people that will help you. They should be within the areas that you are able to explore. With. The ones that could help with you are from the people, from the people that you already saved. With are Soldier Lardwick, Mercenary Meatloaf, Carpenter Carvey, Knight Lardwick. We have with four people. Sir Musashi, the preparations to go into Hell's Valley are complete. I told the team to wait up for thou at the entrance to Hell's Valley. Cool! This is so exciting! By the way, Sir Musashi, why dost thou need to enter Hell's Valley? My sword told me to do it, man. I swear, it literally. Huh? You mean you don't know? Well, of course not. I doth not be a nosy person. I'm gonna go pulverize the Crest Guardian and free the Earth Crest. See you later, geezer. Good lucketh. The way Sir Ripson talks is just this is hilarious because he just puts he just puts that King James twist on everything. Alright, well, we pretty much got what we done needed to get done here, so let's head up in the Hell's Valley now. I got my items, I got my gear, got everything we need to get this boss fight underway, so let's do it. As soon as I figure out where the heck I'm going. Okay, I know where I'm going now. 
It always takes me like a few seconds of walking around to get myself accustomed to the village direction and whatnot. Alright. Off we go. I felt like walking or regular running instead of like skipping like I usually do. Lumpwood ever sleeps. So this is the way to Hell's Valley. Music's a bit different this time. You're dead meat, Crest Guardian. Yeah, in order to make these boulders fall, you gotta use Earth the Earth Crest, so yeah. tell you something. Legendary cloth exists somewhere in this country. It's supposed to have miraculous powers. Thanks, lady. Appreciate it. But I got a job to do. This, this music got me this, this music got me wanting to fight. Oh, I gotta go back up there. I gotta take the rest. Alright, I'll, I'll remember that. I will remember that. I wish the Earth Crest could do more than just like make like tremors to stun enemies. Like like Earth is my favorite element. Like you know, it, it should get so much more credit, man. Like you should be able to shake like the entire universe or something. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Those four poorly drawn. Welcome, gentlemen. Sir Musashi. Oh, they have voices. We will immediately open the gate to Hell's Valley for you. Whoa. And help in the battle. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. They all have voices. All Holy right. crap. Let's go to Hell's Valley. As I walk in the vet shop. Wait. As I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's no left. All right, let's do this, though. This is Hell's Valley? Uh... Is something supposed to happen here? <laughs> this is definitely the place. Right, Lardwick? Yes, it is. I will state our battle plan. After the enemy comes, you must drop the objects that we place in the bucket above you. Yeah, and if you drop them from this height, the monster will be mincemeat. And when it's unconscious, smash its core. That'll destroy him. Destroy! Destroy! However, if one of us is injured, we temporarily won't be able to assist you. Don't worry, I won't let that happen to you guys. All right, gentlemen. It's here! It's here! Man, your post! Let's do this! Yeah, apparently this is like an animated statue of some sort. And it kind of resembles the statues you saw on that river during the raft ride. So let's do this. Oh, he's hitting me with that sand hurricane. Chill. That sand hydro pump. So you gotta wait till the bombs are right over his head. Oh crap! Oh, that was lame. He hit me with the freaking what's that monster called? He hit me with the nibble snort sand hydro pump. I 
already filled up. Ow. I think he could also poison me. I mean, certain things sculpting me, it's like a part sculpting ish. He kinda can. It would make sense. I cannot time this. Yeah, I cannot time this for the life of me. Crap. Okay, I thought I jumped over that. This dude is not trying to let me get any time to hit this. Alright, he's unconscious. Sadly, this is the only way to actually damage bosses in the game. You gotta hit their core, which is made of pinch and tight. Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm poisoned. Crap. You see how my face is blue in the corner? Yeah, I'm poisoned. Your HP is gonna go down very slowly. Like, instead of recovering naturally, it's just gonna. Oh, uh, and you also walk very slowly. This kinda sucks. Oh, man, this dude's giving me no type of openings. Unfortunately, I don't have any antidotes. I kind of forgot about the poison thing. So we just have to do this the old-fashioned way. Yeah, when he tries to go to attack your friends, you gotta knock him back down. Obviously. Wait, did I get poisoned again? Are you kidding me, man? Are you freaking kidding me? Crap. Ah, that's better. a rock over or something. Alright, he's got like two hits left in me. Oh, yeah, he's just stunning the whole squad. That is uncool, man. I only had all your attacks just bounce off the bosses, but you can't do nothing about it. The freaking statue. Where do you get all this sand from, man? That's why Earth Element is so dope. They just, they just do it. Like Nike. Can I throw it? Oh, I can freaking pick it up and throw it. I am so bad at this game. I am so terrible at this. <laughs> I'm the worst fencer of all time. Oh, you can pick it up and throw it? Wait, no! Why'd it go over his head? Alright, let's do this correctly this time. Catch this fade. Did a nice clean 40%, 40 damage. Wait, can this hit you if you keep moving? Yes. That 
poisonous thing really gets to you. Don't get poisoned, man. Not worth it. Ugh. I need you to catch this fade already, man. Like, what is this? What is with me? I think the thing will travel through him and it has to land on his head. Like if it doesn't land on his head, it's just not a... Wait, did his tail just poison me just by touching it? Are you serious? Y'all are killing me, man. Okay, fine. We'll play your game. We'll play your game. Just give me the herb! I need the herb! The herb! Alright. Drop that bull ball in. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. He's still not coughing it up, man. This dude is just a champion and taking hits. Am I supposed to do something extra here? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's it. That was the final hit. I thought he had two more left. That's why I was taking so long to kill him. Crest liberated. Sweet. Congratulations, Sir Musashi. The plan was a success. Success. You'd be a great carpenter. Carpenter, carpenter. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Why not head back to the palace and get some rest? Thank you, gentlemen. It was a pleasure. Couldn't have done it without your help. No, literally, I really couldn't have done it without their help. Like, I think I would have been powerless. The first question I'm tired of. Ah, that idiot! Ruthric was so close to having the scroll. Ah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Fira Flatsky. But Mission Bandy will not fail. Uh, what is that? What is Mission Bambi? The long-running research on upgrading Vintraloid soldiers has finally been completed. And using the results, we'll, like, have some fun with Musashi. <laughs> well, I hope so, darling. This better not waste my valuable time. I have nails to find. Well, anyway... Do what you can, darling. Oh, be quiet, sis. I'll show you. I can do it, like, if I really put my mind to it. Like, if I really believe. <laughs> well, we will see what happens. We want our beloved ex-emperor to be proud of us. As long as we have Lumina and the five scrolls, we can rebuild our empire! It's the worst troubles. I am counting on you. Capricola, can I count on you too? <laughs> yes, you may, Fuhrer. Alright, well, Mission Vanby, you're gonna figure out what this is soon enough. This is like my most favorite, least favorite part of the game. Notice the music. I have a bad feeling something is wrong with the village. Like, already? No time to settle in or anything. Now nah, I don't want access to Twin Peak Mountain this time. Let's check the village out. What's up with this eerie music? There's a... Uh, what would the administrator have to say? I don't want to see it just because I'm here. Not the... Okay. Yeah, this is, like I said, my least favorite, most favorite part of the game. Like, like this is where, this is like where it gets really interesting. I see. Uh, there's so much I can talk about that I don't want to talk about. <laughs> no one's answering their doors today. What's up? Anybody home? 
Uh, hello? Anyway, that cutscene of the Thirst Quencher Empire, those are the... Those are the bad guys in the game, pretty much. That will not be enough for you. Where's that crest? And why is the village like this? Yeah, when you liberate the crest, you have to actually physically go to it and liberate it, of course. Anyway. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Literally, what's up? <laughs> the grocery selling something good? Musashi, there's been a bit of a problem. The groceries Tim was attacked by one of those ghouls. What? Poor brat. I mean, um, poor Tim. And what exactly is a ghoul? They're called Vambies. They're half vampire and half zombie. They come out at night and suck the blood of humans. Vambi? You must be kidding. Well, it used to be just an old folk tale, but they've actually appeared. Is Tim gonna be alright? Well, he doesn't have much time. However, if we were able to make Gurlin's traditional medicine remedy, am I hearing something? That's just the drums. Okay. Then there might be a possibility of saving him, but we can't let Tim turn into a van, be mayor. I must go now. Hold on, Hotello. Why don't we ask Musashi to help us? Sounds good. Will you do it, Musashi? Kinda hard to turn you guys down. I'll need it. I'll do it. So what do I need to do? To make the remedy, you need Mysteria and Aqualine. Hotello should go obtain Aqualine, which is on the peak of Twin Peak Mountain. And Musashi, you must obtain Mysteria, which is a flower that blooms in the mine. Yes, sir. However, don't you think the energy from the Bencho type will be harmful to Musashi? That theory has not been proven yet. Anyways, I think Musashi will be fine. What's most important now is saving Tim. I see. Doesn't this guy care at all about Musashi? Wid, who lives in the windmill, has the key to the mine. While you're there, you should ask about the flower. Good luck, Musashi. So first I need to go to the windmill and talk to Wid, right? What a pain that's gonna be. That old man sleeps all day. So you might end up going into the mine in the early hours of the morning. Well, I should go now. Goodbye. Good luck, Hotello. More like Bro Tello. What a bro, man. At least he cares. You know, the mayor doesn't. Yes, the Bencho Titan in the mines is harmful. <laughs> Use your brain, Musashi. Well, okay then. At some point, there's actually gonna be a time. Let, let's buy some toys. I'm gonna buy some toys. Hello. This is such an opportune time. Okay, so. What you got? What you got? What you got? Series 2. We get Sculpion. Even Howls. Boulders and Bombs included. You can't beat that. Alright, sweet. Now we are all caught up on all the action figures. At some point I am gonna go and like sit down and look at them, but not yet. Not right now. I'm also gonna go to the hotel real quick. Welcome! Make yourself at home! Now take notice that this dude's name is Motello. This is... Look. My brother begged me to help out at the inn. Aren't I a nice guy? Yes, this is Hotello's twin brother, Motello. Hotel, motel, holiday inn. I'm gonna save here. I'm not ending the episode yet. But I am gonna save here real quick. And, um... I don't even know how long I've been playing, actually. I think it's been, like, about 20 minutes. 20-something. Let me see. Um... Dang, it's been, like, almost 30 minutes already. I think. Um... I don't want to end it, though. <laughs> I really don't want to end it. Okay. 
I'll, I'll, I'm gonna do something. I'm not gonna complete the objective yet, but I'm gonna do something. I mean, we did just like knock out a big boss in the game and everything. Uh, what else is there to do then? Let's talk to the grocery store lady. Let's talk to Miss Hilda. I'm sorry, Tim. It's all because I locked you out for not obeying your curfew. <laughs> but I can't be depressed forever. Tim would want me to be strong. Welcome. What do you need? I mean, you locked your ten-year-old son up. Or however old he is. He has a high fever. I'm looking for oranges. I want to buy an orange so that I can do that stunt. Oh, wish I could talk to the clowns and have them show me their new stunt, because they'll actually teach you a new ability for that. You don't get oranges yet, though. Not for a while, I believe. Crap, what else is there to do without actually, like, advancing the game? Oh, I know. I know what to do. I'm gonna go back for that. I'm gonna go back for that, uh, that chest. I'm most likely gonna fast forward this entire section. This is gonna be fun. Buckets of fun! Crap, I can't even go up the mountain, so I, I, I can't even, like, it... Ah, oh, man, you're killing me. Alright, whatever, man. Well, I saved my game, so I guess I'm gonna wrap this episode up for now. We are gonna continue. I don't wanna stop this episode here, but I guess I have to, because I spent a lot of time recording this one. So, even though it feels wrong to say it, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite. Stay tuned for the next episode of Brave Fence with Musashi, and hopefully I don't let time slip away from me next time. Uh, until then, peace.